All right, let's do this. <clears throat> Hello? Is there anybody out there? No notice stream. So we're just going to, uh, we're going to shit talk about Euro 2016. And you guys are going to teach me how to play this. Because I've wanted to for a long time. I know it's like supposed to be the best sports manager there is of any kind of sports managing game. And I've always been a fan of that. Way, way, way back then in the. I don't know, Amiga Days? Something. There was a great hockey game um, that is okay to play, but what I really loved about it is the manager mode. Now, in fact, you could play it manager only. You had to do spring training and trade stuff and pick your plays and all that. And it got to the point where like, I put it on, on full automatic mode, like management mode, where I didn't even play the game, which was cool. So, yeah. So I've literally never played this. So Paradox needs to nerf France. Yeah. Nerf France IRL, or at least only on the pitch. So, I mean, here's the thing. Like, I watch, I watch some amount of the foot soccer ball, right? Foot soccer ball. I watch a certain amount of it from time to time when there's big stuff going on, but not enough for me to really know, um, really anything about how you would organize a club, what the different player roles are, who any of the names are, uh, what the tournament structures are, what a lot of the strategies are, and a lot of the terms in glossary. I just don't know. Um, the biggest push when I when I first started watching some amount of football was I think for the the I don't know last World Cup or the one before I don't remember like when was what but you know so like you know two three years ago or something like that whenever that worked out um, so I watched just some amount of that and um, because you know it's like the World Cup two billion people watch or something crazy and it's nice to be in that um but that's really that was the the first real exposure to the sport and i don't watch it regularly it's hard to get it regularly here although i could be watching a lot more mls i think that's what it's called i think something like that which is in the sort of north american leagues and things is that like major league soccer or something i don't know um so i might start to make an effort doing that but so i really you guys are going to be teaching me not only the game but literally, you're going to be teaching me football at the same time. And mods aren't allowed. I don't want them to be working. I told the censor she's not allowed to be here. Because I'm going to be watching the chat. <laughs> Scruffo says, Quill playing football manager. Finally game I'm better at him at. Yeah, since I literally don't know. MLS is correct. Yeah, alright. So, is there really no sound here? I'm like, I load it up. I'm like, oh, is my sound settings effed up? But no, like, there was literally no sound at this point. Maybe there's no sound in the entire game. I have no idea. Maybe we'll play some music, although I would like to post this on the Yub Tubs, so uh, I want to make sure to play non-copyrighted music, so we'll have to figure out what we're going to do about that. I guess I could play some, like, EU4 music or something in the background. Also, you guys need beer, because I have gotten myself a beers. I have a, uh, a Belgian Trappist beer. So we'll be doing that. There's sound during matches, okay. But probably no music, so let me get a uh, Spotify or something like that. And we'll play some, uh, I don't know, U4 soundtrack. Just so that there's something. No sound except the matches, okay. Because um, otherwise I'll go crazy, right? Europa Universalis 4. Doop, doop, doop. Because obviously this is not copyrighted. And we've got nothing set in the queue, so... Whoop. There we go. What's that? Hey, oh, true, that's a bug. It's a free runner. Thanks for the resub. Whoop. The irony, you play this while France plays Iceland quarterfinals. No, I know, I no, I, I stopped watching it because 4 0, man. For all I know, it's like 15 0 now. I was watching it until it hit 4 0, and I'm like, done. Let's do this. Uh, so, new career game. Uh, I guess football manager mode. We could create a new club. Should we do that, or should we pick a pre-existing one? I mean, I want to start small. Is there a Belgian league? Oh, it's 4-0, not 4-0. You're right, I'm terribly sorry. It's 4-love is uh, what the game is right now. Don't create? All right, football manager. Uh, database, official winter update, I guess. Oh, is it like the version that shipped? 
And then the latest update, I guess we're going to do that one. And then hit OK, probably. Alright. Um, it's touch game is simpler to get your head around. Okay. Should I be doing that then? New club's probably a step too far to begin with. Why is he a four music? Because there's no other music. So, there it is. <laughs> no, no, four love, bad quill. Uh, four love would mean 415. What? No, love is zero. It's lef, as an egg, as in goose egg, as in nothing. Don't do touch. All right. Um, choose nation. I mean, part of me is like tempted uh, to go England just so that I can do the um, uh, the vlog brother, you know, um, John plays. But we'll do we'll do something different. We'll go Belgium, because that's us, right? Oh, wait. What? What? Why can I choose more than one nation? I don't understand. You can change these settings once a new game. Oh, is this? These are going to be simulated in the background. So, I mean, there's no reason to simulate anything other than Belgium right now, right? Is that it? And then you can add, remove leagues later on? You can pick multiple leagues. It'll sim more than one nation. So what should I do? Should I, like pick a bunch of Euro nations? Should I only bother with Belgium being simmed right now? More nation, more players to buy. Oh, laid the players of that nation. Oh, add more leagues. Simulate all the leagues. I'm surprised there's not a button for that. Oh, recommended setup. What does that say? That's your recommended setup? Uh, Belgium, France. I mean, I don't want the CPU to explode. Pick all the big ones and Belgium, main nations. You have more trade options. No, you might get offered a job in a different country. Yeah, so I clicked recommended setup. So I'm going to add Belgium, France. Uh, uh, really? Holland? Not Netherlands. Holland. Okay. Just to have some, uh, just to have neighbors. Just because I think it makes sense. Italy. And Japan. All right. Let's do that. Uh, I guess Japan would not be in... Uh... I know I'm blind a lot. But wouldn't Japan be under Asia? Somewhere right around here? I don't see Japan. No Japan. All right. You can skip Argentina and Brazil. Yeah, I mean, they're not local, right? So we'll just focus on, on ERP. Iceland! Okay, we'll put Iceland in. Just because, you know, it's relevant. They don't have the Japan license. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to click next. So, I could, like, I could set these to, like, view only or something like that. But I don't know, I'll leave this as is. Third division all the way down. Japan just plays Futubago, totally different thing. All right, so I'm just gonna hit start game. Uh, database database size, small, medium, large. I guess that impacts the game speed. I don't know, I'll go medium, the hell. All right, this is good. Turn on view only, keep it like this. Select only the highest league in all countries. No, I want to start tiny. You can leave it at that. Okay. A database size. Someone says large. Someone says medium. Medium. Two votes for medium. Take large. Large. Leave it as is. Supersize it. So this will just gives me, like, more players. I'm going to just go medium. All right. You have selected 20 leagues from 8 nations with the medium database. The game the game will start in Belgium in June 2015. Size matters, go big or go home. Med medium. Yeah, we're sort of split. Bigger is better. It's fine. You know, we'll probably we'll probably F things up and we'll have to restart at some point, so we'll just start smaller now. And with that, let us pour it away. There's not a whole lot of um a lot of beer options all the time. 
Uh, but this one is pretty dependably available here. And it's not bad. Uh, so, there you go. It's uh, 7%. Uh, from Belgium at the La Baie de Scourmont. So the Squ Scourmont Abbey. It's alright. Setting up a game database. Still can't believe this was a 1.8 gig download. But apparently there's a lot of data. <laughs> Are we getting drunk and playing football manager today? Please say yes. Absolutely. This is the, the beer the beer and football manager stream. Ah. Sunday afternoons are supposed to be my off time to recuperate from the fact that I streamed all day Saturday and Sunday morning. So I'm being really bad. Hey, Jim Bean. Do you like football? Who do you support? Um, it's cool. I mean, I like the drama of it, and I love interacting with people on Twitter because of it. Like, I don't know if I'd watch on my own. I watch because I know other people will be into it, and then we can have... It's a community thing. I think most sports are like that. You know, it's... They're not as fun unless you have other people around who are also passionate about it. So, um... Yeah, so that's part of it. And so I don't support anyone, because I don't know anyone. The, um... Who do I support? Uh, what's the, um, uh, John Green, Wimbley Wombleys? Wimbledon. No. AFC Wimbledon. There you go. That's who I support. Because of John Green. I think too many players have a life of creative freedom like this. Your team failed to adhere to tactical instructions. Use creative freedom sparingly for full effect. Oh, I get to make myself! I am Mr. Quill18. Um, I am born in 79. There we go. Um, I am Canuckian. Second nationality? You have two nationalities? Interesting. Place of birth. Oh, neat. Oh, that's really cool. I'm just going to leave it unspecified. It's fine. Additional language spoken. Additional? It didn't ask me for a first one. It's going to be like, you speak Canadianese. Okay, it's got English selected in there. All right. Uh, and French, which is going to be very helpful for managing a, uh, a Belgium team. Address me as Quill18. That's good. All right. Appearance. I, I kind of look like not good. Um, oh, look. Look, I'm a streaker or um, a flasher. Yeah. Wow, guy's cold. Tracksuit manager? No, okay. So tactical manager is fine. Uh, edit face. Randomize. Can you do like um? Can you do facial hair? Doesn't seem like any of these people really have facial hair. Like if I keep randomizing, none of them. They're all clean shaven, right? Whatever, this guy. Pasty dude. Uh, where's the hair? Hairstyle. Um, wow! This is terrible! <laughs> it's awful! Uh, whatever, that one's fine. Darker hair. Um, my, fa my character doesn't change. Oh, it's just the profile photo. There, I'll be happy in the profile photo. What do you think? Um, Potato, thank you very much for the sub. And Storvling, thank you very much for the resub. Alright. This is the most important part of the game, guys. We can't we can't fuck this up. Um oh! No 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 go back to a white shirt. Yeah! It's awful. Oh, that's so bad. I love it. There we go. I look like a 1980s used car salesman. Okay, there we go. Next. I have likes? What is this? What? I don't even know, like, what... <laughs> what? This is crazy. I'm just going to leave it to none. <laughs> oh, 
uh, Finland scored one. That's good. Other favorite teams. The shit! I assume this has nothing to do with anything, and it's just, like, extra flavor text. What? Oh, you can change your sh- Wow. I mean, 442 is the most common, right? I know the game that was just playing, uh, Francis 442, and was Finland, like, they had a one at the end. I don't know if it was 4411. I don't think this is what it was. It was like a 4231 or something like that, was Finland was using. Anyway, we'll go 442. I don't know. This is just favorite. I don't know if that means anything. Just fluff. All right. Social networks. Connecting YouTube will enable you to post match highlights and relive the great goals over and over. Oh, that's cool. We'll leave it blank for now. That's okay. Choose a team to manage. So, we're going to go, like, crap division. Third division B. I don't know if B is worse than A, but we're going to do that. Oh, Liege! Did I, did I select the team here, or did I just... No. I just opened it. Oh, sorry, not Finland. Iceland. Sorry. Don't overcomplicate the tactics start. Just make the tactics suit your best players. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Go bigger so you have a big budget. Crap teams mean less staff. Yeah, so where should I go? Should I go higher up or lower down? Beginners would be better off playing as a top division team. The only way you want to fuck this up is if you choose Man United. Go PSG. That's not, I don't see that here. Oh, you guys want to go England? <laughs> Lower leagues, teams are so easy. Higher is easier. Play is standard. Take standard. Um, oh! Stand, standard de Liège. Choose the team that's expected to finish first. That seems like... So that would be... Underlecht. Canadian national team. Yeah, maybe. PSG is in French League 1. Oh, okay. Well, no one's going to agree about anything. Yeah, where's Brussels? Which, when, which one is Team Brussels? That's what we want. Fuck this shit. Um, does it say what city they're in? Because it's got shit up here. Stadium? Is that the name of the... Underlect equals Brussels. Perfect! And the predicted first. Okay. There we go. Done. Next, managerial style. Um I don't Oh, I can I can take points away and move them. Higher level badge contributes a greater number of points available to allocate coaching attributes. So does national A license means I'm the best possible coach in a tracksuit? What does that mean? I don't know. Tactical manager? Fast playing experience? I think I'm just going to leave everything the way it is. Default. Just default. The Brussels doesn't have a team. Only real places get to have teams. <laughs> oh, suggest so badge. Continental Pro License. Oh. Oh, as opposed to national. Oh, I see. So, Continental Pro License equals best. Professional footballer. I get all the points. Woo! All right. Let's go. Confirm. Would you like to start playing or add additional managers? Uh, start playing. 
Is that an additional manager if you want to like manage more than one team or you want to do like hot seat or something like that? Brussels live stream. Save. Access your inbox by pushing F4. All right. I just got quilling the 411 on football. Yes, hot seat. Okay, cool. Russell's team is called the Sprouts. Yeah, that's what we should have done. We should have... Uh, uh, once I learn how to play this, I will have to make like a custom team, start in the bottom of the league, it's the Sprouts, and then we're going to work our way up. Managing emails is 90% of the game. Oh, shit. I changed my prediction. Quill won't last an hour playing this. Uh, win the Champions League. Okay, I'll totally do this. Should just call the stream better than Euro 2016. All right, so um, 18 takes Underlecht hot seat. In what may seem be seen as a surprise appointment, <laughs> the board have named a virtually unknown Canadian manager as their new boss. <laughs> Quill 18, who turns 37 next birthday, was introduced to fans and journalists alike at the Stada Constant Waden stock this morning. That's me. Personal message from Joe Van Blesbeek. Uh, managing director welcomes me, uh, assuring that you can rely on the full backing of the board. In terms of your contract with the club, you have been given a deal until June 2016 worth 12,000 pounds per week. That sounds pretty good. That sounds really good. You think I'll be sponsored before the end of the year? Could happen. And uh, my bad, I didn't have the... Uh, the uh, tip notifier up because this was not a planned stream. Uh, thank you very much, that one Marine, for supporting the insanity that is about to happen, as well as Snotface 101. Uh, just because I've been watching for four minutes, you haven't said soccer. Also, you're drinking alcohol, so cheers to that. There you go. I do often say foot soccer ball to clarify. Like, it's, it's nice and clear. You, I say American football and foot soccer ball, and then no one is confused as to what I'm talking about. Um, okay, they have uh, no specific philosophy. His director is responsible for offloading players that are placed on the unwanted list, and head of youth development will look to loan out those placed in development list. Staff members, previous regime, have been retained. Yeah, yeah, okay, so some people are doing some shit for me. Uh, transfers update. Alright, so shit's happening with some players. People are moving back and forth. Okay. We have injuries? So, Matthias. Suarez has damaged cruciate ligaments. I don't know what body part that's in. And uh, Ibrahima Conte has torn knee ligaments. All right. Oh, we can go to the next email by pressing space. That'll be really e helpful. New subscription. Subscribe me a list of subjects to be interested in. Oh, that's fucking cool. And you can probably, you can manage subscriptions. <laughs> oh my God. There's so much goddamn information. What the shit? Okay, what do I do now? There are some buttons at the bottom of the second email. Okay, so... Oh! Oh, there's a meeting! I'd like to hold a meeting with you regarding the Cubs history, did it? Uh, I will attend the meeting. Welcome to Parswit. What the fuck is Parswit? I'd like to... Apparently I can click on it. What's gonna happen if I click on it? I don't know. Can I go back? Yes. Okay. I'd like to take a few moments of your time to welcome you to the club before handing over, before handing over to your assistant manager who's going to discuss staff responsibilities to you. I also want to assure you that you have the full backing of the board and we wouldn't have hired you if we didn't feel the right person to propel the club forward. Great. Let's get this meeting started. I'm really looking forward to working with this club and achieving big things. I also appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to welcome me in person. Uh, oh, that's me. Purple White. That's the nickname. Oh! Oh, okay. I don't know anything about the club, so... Most streamers start to hate on the game if there's too much info. Cool is pumped. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, I may not end up playing it. But I love the detail. I love that it exists so much. Uh, RSC. What does that stand for? 
Uh, Anderlecht are obviously a club with a lot of history. The fans really appreciate it when a newly appointed manager has taken time to increase their knowledge of the club. Appreciate that you might already know a fair amount about Anderlecht's background. Nope. <laughs> but I can send you a detailed overview of the club's history to your inbox if you'd like. That sounds great. I'd love to learn more about the club. Uh, as I was mentioned in your welcome message, the club has no philosophies which you will be judged on. That's really good. Uh, would you like to arrange a meeting to suggest philosophies you are passionate about for the board to consider approving? Sure, I have some philosophies which I would like the board to consider judging me on. I don't want to be judged. Oh, I'm pleased to have been given the freedom to manage a team without having any specific philosophies. Let's just do that. Don't expect anything from me. Traditional to hold a press conference when signing a new manager. Would you like to set one up for you in the next day or so? Sure, I'd love to meet the journalists. Thanks for answering my questions. I'm now going to hand the meeting over to your assistant manager, who's got a few things to talk about. Final note, the club has many responsibilities which can either be handled by yourself or other members of the staff. Feel free to adjust the staff responsibilities within the club as you see fit. Royal Sports Club is what RC, RSC stands for. See? I'm happy. Purple and white. That's perfect for Twitch. Oh, you're right, actually. Um, all right, thanks a lot. I'll have a successful career. Everything's awesome. So, Gert Emmerich is my assistant manager. Some questions regarding the day-to-day -day running of the team. First, before we talk about team policies, do you want to arrange an intra-squad friendly for tomorrow to allow you to assess the players in both squads? What's a squad? Um, give me a good opportunity to evaluate the entire squad. What's a squad? And yes, I will give them all responsibilities. I don't see the point in comparing the senior and reserve players. The team. The squad is your team. But do I have two teams? Like, why do I have two? First and second team. The squad is all your players. But then I have two squads. That's what I'm talking about. Like, if you just said the squad, I'd be like, yeah, that's fine. When he says both squads, I'm like... Alright, yeah, well, we're gonna do it. Fuck it. It's fine. Uh, set up the inter-squad friendly. It's been scheduled tomorrow. Written a report for you regarding the team. Would you like to send it to you? Sure. Uh, backup players. Okay, so you have, like, first squad would be, like, assuming everyone was fresh, first squad is who'd hit the field. And second squad are the people who are, like, there for subs and whatever. Young squad, first team, starters and backups. Okay, young, young te youth team and seniors. All right, good. <laughs> What's the squad? I feel it's going to be a long stream. Guys, this is why I'm streaming it, man. Because I need you guys. Because otherwise I'd load the shit up and like, the f fuck is going on? Beer's going to help. Um, sure, let's meet more people. Why not? I can provide you with regular reports of input from background staff. Um, send it to me. Oh, oh we're going to do fortnightly because I just love the word. Would you like to help... Would you like me to help you with any tasks of the club? Yeah, do everything. Agent offers. Um, not interested, just take care of them for me. Let's do all those things. With friendlies. Yep, arrange them. Uh-huh. Setting opposition instructions. Sure, mm-hmm. Good experience for you. Yeah, it'd be really good experience for you. I mean, I'm super good at this sort of thing, but you should probably take care of it so you get trained up. Press conferences. Yeah, that's a good idea. You Can you take control... Of the match conference for me. Never been a fan of the excessive questions journalists ask. Uh-huh. Oh, everything except press conferences. Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm sorry, Uncle Tachi. I didn't see you in time. So give him everything except pre press conferences. <gasps> I can probably change that, though, right? All right. Um, the club has the following squads with their respective staff members who is currently managing the team. Und Underlecht, Quilly Teen Manager. Under-21s, Rene Peters. Under 19s, Benoit Hageman. Um, if you like, I'm happy to manage any non senior squads that don't already have dedicated managers. Go for it. Great. Not, um, be sure not to let you down. Would you like me to use the first team tactics to allow the same style of football to be played from youth to senior? Yeah, that's sure. That makes a lot of sense. Um, how can you assist with team talks? Okay. Yeah, sure. Talk to the team. I don't like human contact. Would you like to help? Uh, how do you assist with training? What general areas would like help with? Oh, you know. Oh, all training and match preparation. Which squads? All the squads. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks, Gert. 
That concludes this meeting. I, you know where to find us if you need anything else. I can make board requests. Build new stadium. Huh. Facilities, finances. See, I do like the whole that whole aspect of management. All right, I like that. Some people think I should do the team talks. Button pressing simulator 2016. Press is great. You can change it. You can storm out, etc. Okay, how do I change it? People want me to do the press conferences. Uh, staff? Responsibilities? Personal assistant? Okay, staff responsibilities. Press, 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 press. It's hard to find one word in all this. First team. Aha! Press conferences. Uh, I'll totally do that. There we go. Manager. I'm doing a thing, you guys. Tougher to manage a team than win World War II. You're absolutely right. Awesome. I can't believe how many of you in here know how to play this goddamn game. That's great. Confirm. 